Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD MyBook external hard drive repair and data recovery. One WD MyBook hard drive includes three parts. One, a power adapter. Two, SATA to USB bridge and encryption card. Three, WD SATA hard drive. The WD MyBook external hard drive problems can be categorized into four. Problem one, the power adapter damage. Problem two, SATA to USB bridge and encryption card damage. Problem three, hard drive printed circuit board damage. Problem 4. Hard drive disk assembly damage. Power adapter damage. This picture shows the two common damage points on the power adapter. The solution to fix this kind of problem is replace the power adapter or fix it. SATA to USB adapter damage. If the SATA to USB adapter damaged, the common solutions are 1. Fix the adapter directly 2. Replace the damaged adapter with another identical adapter. You cannot take the hard drive out to put into another hard drive enclosure or another computer to read it, because for this model, WD external desktop hard drive, the data on the hard drive is encrypted by this special adapter. Three methods to fix a hard drive PCB board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Repair the PCB board. 3. Swap the PCB board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board. The most vulnerable parts on the PCB board is power supply circuit, motor IC. Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom, the motor can spin, but cannot reach its full speed. Cause, lose motor contacts. Solution, resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Here is the sound from the loose motor contacts problem hard drive. Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom, the motor can spin, but cannot reach its full speed. Cause, lose motor contacts. Solution, resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Motor IC problem. Symptom. The motor IC is overheat or the hard drive does not spin. Possible reason. The motor IC is bad. Solution. Replace the motor IC. Note. Replacing the motor IC only can fix the bad motor IC problem. If the hard drive PCB other part got problem or the hard drive itself got problem, replacing the motor IC will not help. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3. PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. 
Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board format transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board from a transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 3 things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board from a transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not transfer the printed circuit board firmware. For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer will not detect the hard drive. We received many questions regarding the hard drive PCB firmware transfer and hard drive PCB compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. The hard drive PCB firmware is also called hard drive PCB BIOS. Some PCB firmware are in the independent memory chip like PICT1 shows. The memory chip may be 1 or 2. Some PCB firmware are 
integrated into the main IC, like picture 2 shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCBs need to do the PCB firmware transfer before swapping the PCB. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. The picture 3 shows some of these boards. But there are some hard drive PCBs do not need the PCB firmware transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the board directly. The picture 4 shows some of these boards. How can we help you to find the donor PCB? 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com or text the pictures to 604-762-6359. You will receive the donor PCB information as soon as we can. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCBs to us. 1. Make a cardboard folder. 2. Tape the PCB to the cardboard folder. 3. Write down your order number, email address, phone number, and shipping address on the cardboard folder. 4. Insert the cardboard folder into a bubble mailer. 5. Seal the bubble mailer seal firmly. The procedure to fix a hard drive PCB. 1. The clients send the PCB to us. 2. We fix the PCB. For example, find the donor PCB and do the PCB firmware transfer. 3. We ship the PCB to the clients. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery WD MyBook External Hard Drive Encryption We received many questions regarding WD MyBook External Hard Drive Repairing and Data Recovery. One of the very common questions is, can we access the WD MyBook hard drive data through the SATA port directly, not through the SATA to USB bridge? The answer is no. Why? Because the WD MyBook hard drive data is encrypted by its SATA to USB bridge. In another words, the WD MyBook external hard drive SATA to USB bridge is not only a bridge, but also a encryption card. So, you cannot take the hard drive directly from the case and then hook the computer without the original SATA to USB bridge. The computer cannot read the data because the data is encrypted. And also, that is why sometimes people think they already successfully repaired the hard drive and then they hook the successfully repaired hard drive to the computer directly and the data is not available. That is why. Just because the SATA to USB bridge is also an encryption card, the data is encrypted, so the computer cannot read it. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost 
in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. How to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB. 1. Locate the overheat chips. For example, the motor IC and the main IC. 2. Put the heat sink pad on the top of the overheat chips. Disk firmware corruption. Symptom. Disks spin nicely, but the hard drive is not accessible. Possible cause Disk firmware corruption. Recommendation Try manufacturer level commands and tools like PC3000 or others. Here is the example sound from a disk firmware corruption hard drive. Disk firmware corruption symptom the hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason Disk firmware corruption. Recommendation Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. Tips. If the storage configured as mirrored hard drives, you can take the bad hard drive out, then put same size or bigger size another hard drive into the bay, and then the storage will mirror the data to the new hard drive automatically. If this trick doesn't work, that means the two mirrored hard drives are both damaged, or the storage was configured as read zero, that means the two hard drives are different. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Fusion Drive What is Fusion Drive? Fusion Drive is Apple Inc's name for its implementation of a hybrid drive. One Fusion Drive equal one SSD drive plus one regular hard drive. Usage Frequently used data is stored in the SSD drive. Less frequently used data is stored in the regular hard drive. Data recovery requirement. In order to do data recovery, both the SSD drive and the regular hard drive are needed. Do I have a Fusion drive? This table listed 
or the Macintosh computers which used the Fusion drives. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.